A Linux distribution, or distro, is a computer operating system using a collection of software and based upon a Linux kernel. There are many, many different distros available currently, in hundreds if you dig around enough. This is one of the things that I think dissuades prospective Linux users from actually committing. They don't know where to start, it's just too much to process. If you pull back the curtain a little though, you discover there are actually only a handful of, well, let's call them grandparent distros. In other words, the base products upon which almost all of these others are built. Distributions like Debian, Arch, Red Hat, and a little later Ubuntu, which is itself based on Debian, have become the foundation for many others over the years. Speaking of Debian, they recently released Debian 12, codenamed Bookworm, which is kind of a big deal since Debian is conservative with their release schedules. They take the time, which tends to produce a solid and reliable, if unexciting, release. As an aside, I hadn't till this week realized that the major Debian releases are all named after Toy Story characters. So, does that. Debian was originally inspired by SLS Linux, and while the first Debian stable release was in 1996, an early version debuted in 1993. The name comes from the names of the creator of Debian, the late Ian Murdoch, and his wife, Deborah. As I mentioned, Ubuntu itself is based on Debian, and I think Ubuntu is probably the most common base upon which other distros are built. I'm sure someone will correct me in the comments if that's not the case. I had tried Debian before a few years ago, but found it to be a bit clunky. I was used to graphical installers by that time, and Debian was still using a text-based one, which seemed quaint to me. I know some of you are rolling your eyes at that, but I'm just being honest. Also, at that time, the older Linux kernel and the lack of some current drivers made it tricky to set up my wireless adapter on my laptop. I'm not any kind of Linux guru, but I did get it working with a little effort. My point is that other distros at that time would work out of the box, so to speak, so it just seemed odd that this venerable distro did not. So I confess that most of my Linux experience over the past few years is with Ubuntu-based, and for this year Fedora-based, distros, with a few diversions to Arch-based systems along the way. I do jump around a lot in Linux, but I figure I'm not hurting anybody or spending anything except my own time, so who cares? Anyway. I did try Debian 12 Bookworm a couple of weeks ago, and it's good. It's available with a good selection of desktop environments, comes with a graphical installer, and the usual huge selection of software. Debian recently broke with tradition and actively allowed the inclusion of non-open source drivers, which can make it easier to use with wireless cards and so on. It does support Flatpak and several different architectures like 32-bit and 64-bit Intel, 64-bit ARM, and so on. I chose the GNOME desktop, which is version 43. For some reason, I seem to be growing fond of GNOME in recent months, and it has been running great for the last couple of weeks. It does have a pretty current kernel version, 6.1 something, and installed perfectly fine in my moderately recent AMD Ryzen laptop. So am I now a Debian convert? Well, knowing my distro hopping history, probably not, if I'm honest. But I feel I could certainly give Debian 12 a hearty recommendation if anyone asks me. I have had no issues and it updates quickly. The one consideration, which is not really a problem, is that Debian tends to slow roll software updates, preferring stability and security over new features. Should I actually decide to continue using it though, this version will be supported through 2028. So thanks for watching and check out the links in the video description below.